Hello friends, welcome back to our site Odish Academy. And today, in this presentation, we are going to solve an example on arithmetic progressions. So here we have a simple example. So given that the eighth term of an arithmetic progression is seventeen and nineteenth term is thirty-nine, then we have to find the twenty-fifth term. So we already know the general term of the arithmetic progression is given by a plus n minus one into d. So by using this formula, let us find the twenty-fifth term. So for that, we have two conditions given. Given that the eighth term, which is nothing but t eight, is equal to seventeen, and nineteenth term, which is t nineteen, is equal to thirty-nine. So now let us find the twenty-fifth term. So in order to find the twenty-fifth term, here the unknown values are a and b. So in order to find these two values, we are given with two conditions. So first, let us find here t eighth term. So on substituting the value of n as eight in the formula, we get a plus eight minus one into d. So this would come as a plus seven d. And according to the given question, the value of eighth term is seventeen. So let us equate this as seventeen. Now assume this equation as equation one. Similarly, let us find here t nineteenth term. So we get here a plus n minus one would be here nineteen minus one into d. So this would come as a plus eighteenth d. And the value of, of the nineteenth term is given as thirty nine. So let us equate this to thirty nine. Now assume this as equation two. Now let us solve these both equations. So let us subtract equation one from equation two. So first we have here equation two as a plus eighteen d is equal to thirty nine. And then we have equation one as a plus seven d is equal to seventeen. Now, subtracting the signs of the equation one get changed. So here we can cancel over plus a and minus a, and then we get eighteen minus seven as eleven d. And coming over to the RHS side, if we subtract seventeen from thirty nine, we get twenty two. So this would come as twenty two divided by eleven. So on simplifying, we get this as eleven one time is eleven, and eleven two times is twenty two. So therefore, we get the value of d as two. And now, let us substitute value of d in any of these equation in order to obtain the value of a. So let us substitute the d value as two in the equation one. So we get this as a plus seven into two is equal to seventeen. That implies this would get as A plus seven two times is fourteen is equal to seventeen. Now let us transfer fourteen to the other side. So we get here a is equal to seventeen minus fourteen. And by subtracting seventeen minus fourteen, we get the value of a as three. Now we know the value of a and d. So let us find over here the twenty-fifth term, just by using the formula of general term. So we get here t twenty-five as three plus twenty-five minus one into two. So this would come as three plus twenty-five minus one is twenty-four into two. That implies we get this as three plus twenty-four into two is here forty-eight. Now by adding forty-eight and three, we get the value of twenty-fifth term as fifty-one. So this is how we solve an example on arithmetic progressions. Hope you understood the concept. To like and subscribe to Edish Academy. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day.